literally hundreds of faults on a Fanuc robotic system. Sometimes it's hard to decipher what the fault is actually telling you, let alone troubleshoot it. We're going to cover what the error code consists of and help give you direction on how to troubleshoot it. I created the fault Motion 17, Limit Error, Group 1, Axis 2, and 3. Let's first look at Motion 17. Motion is the facility name, otherwise family of fault, and 17 is the facility code, or the fault code. After the fault code, we have a description. In this case, a limit to error. The final bit of information we get from the fault code is the group or the location of the fault, or the axis. So group is typically group 1, the mechanical unit of the robot. If you have a group 2, it's very likely you have auxiliary motors on there. The second part is the axis. Now depending on what group you have, group 1 being the mechanical unit, or group 2 in the auxiliary motors on your system, the axis will be either the mechanical unit, axis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or your auxiliary motors, axis 1, 2, 3. It's also important when troubleshooting the FANUC system is to understand if there's more than one fault. The main screen only shows one, so it's always important to go to the alarm page to look at active alarms and the history. This demonstration just scratches the surface on how to troubleshoot the FANUC faults. If you need any help, feel free to call the Brenton Service Department at area code 320-852-7705. Thanks a lot for watching.